Hey, Shalom family, Most High in Christ. Bless, we here live, cuts from the streets in Washington, D.C. As you can see, the White House is behind me. We're here at the Haitian Solidarity March, and we're going to do some interviews. Stay tuned. In the air, got blood in my teeth. Hell, now nah, we ain't scared. Revolutionary woman by our side, and we knocking on your door, and we standing outside. Yeah, we here. Like. Hey, we gonna burn this kingdom down. Lions got a feast and take the crown. One mind, one body, one song till the walls of Jericho crumbling down. We got all black fists in the air. Got blood in my teeth. Hell, now nah, we ain't scared. Revolutionary woman by our side, and we knocking on your door, and we standing outside. Yeah, we here. Like. Hey, we gonna burn this kingdom down. Lions got a feast and take. One mind, one body, one song to the walls of Jericho crumbling down. Hey, Shalom family, most high in Christ. Bless. I'm here with brother, what's your name, sir? Luther Francois. Brother Luther, how you doing today, sir? Right, Bless up. My name is King Kevin Dorval, future multi-millionaire. What's your name, sir? Chantal August. Miss Chantel, and I'm here again with, say your name? Lourdes Victor. What's your name, sir? I'm Reverend Duco Salador. All right, nice to meet you, sir. What's your name? Jean Charles Bernard. So as you know, we're here in Washington, D.C. What brings you here today? Well, we're here to uh, help our brothers and sisters in Haiti to stop the illegal guns and also the ammunition that's going to Haiti. Um, we've been having a lot of problems with the gang, with uh, coming in in Haiti, taking over small town because the ammunition that's coming in into Haiti mm -hmm. illegally. So we want to try to put a stop to that for uh, the people in Haiti can kind of help them sell over the gang situation. As long as they don't have ammunition and, and uh, guns, they can basically, t you know, t uh, stop the gangs from taking over towns. I'm here with the Haitian Solidarity March and also Touch Light Ministries. My nonprofit is called Curse Relief International. We're here standing up and fighting for Haiti. As you all know, Haiti is the first independent black nation uh, in the world that fought the oppressors to create their own country. And they've been paying ever since for that. And so we're here to put an end of the oppression um, the uh, colonial war that the Europeans have put on Haiti. What I mean by colonial war is they suffocated Haiti ever since we fought for independence and won in 1804. Um, with the embargoes, the U.S. put puppet presidents in place. Um, they assassinated our character, um, the children even, and even our president. So we want to take back our power. That, that's what we're doing. We're here um, exactly um, to um, um, give a, a special message, you know, to uh, um, the nation, to the White House, um, because in Haiti right now, a couple years ago, we have a big problem uh, in this country. Weapons come from America, okay. and like, in you know, a kidnapping, and everything right now, everything's closed in Haiti. So I'm um, killing people, you know, with a big weapons. Um, now that's why we are like you do a big motivation from like the 50 state of america to be here today to ask you know for peace and for change you know in our land uh, in haiti what brings you here today in washington dc we're here to stand for what's right for haiti we know how much uh, the country the international is um in interfering in the things that happening in haiti there and um we here to speak to the white house to who make um all a lot of um um rules and regulation for haiti if we have our uh, our leaders uh been imposed and are supported by the international so we here to say that uh, to be offering to support to to support our people in Haiti. Can you detail maybe some of the solutions for our people? Uh, first and foremost, back in 1996, Bill Clinton had passed the Farm Bill, um, and in, in this Farm Bill, he made his friends in Arkansas, the American Rice Corporation, he made them rich by subsidizing about 13 billion dollars. Ever since then to now, about 13 over 13 billion dollars to subsidize the farmers, uh, making them rich, but, but making the Haitians poor. And, and how that happened was that 
the farmers aren't able to farm. Haiti is 80% farmers. Mm -hmm. If you knock out the farmers, you knock out Haiti. You feel me? And he knew that. His advisors told him not to do it. He went and did it anyway. And um, we're here to put a stop to that, uh, that farm bill or at least make some amendments so that it could be some sort of benef benefit for the Haitians and not just um, everything to our detriment. One of the solutions is for us, Haitian, because the solution of Haiti is the solution of the Haitian. For us to structure ourselves, and uh, what is hard is for the international. That, like this is one of the main important things because the people that are that uh, that are leading Haiti right now, it's they are not in Haiti's best interest. So we really would like uh, us to be at the table. The solution is that we at the table ourselves to make decision for Haiti so we could be at Haiti's interest. The solution that we are seeking as we are unite ourselves as one heart, one God, and then to choose our own president and then to stopping the three country, the three lions, the three gates, and then stop controlling us. We are here to control ourselves as one heart, one God. I'm not pointing fingers coming from other countries going to the Dominican or coming to the, uh, uh, the ports in Haiti, uh -huh. and that's causing a lot of chaos and a, a lot of massacre. Okay, and real quick, I just wanted to ask you, because you, you made a comment and said you didn't want to point any fingers. Right. But I, I, I would like to try to identify exactly who is causing a lot of these these um, situations in our communities. Well, let's, let's, let's point well, the finger, if you don't mind. If you say that, just think about it. Um, Haiti don't make guns. Haiti don't make ammunition. And um, here in the United States, you have in the black community, you have a lot of guns going into the black community. And where's the guns coming from? Without pointing fingers, you know, you know what I'm saying? Without pointing fingers, we are in their house and we are, you know, protesting. So everybody know where the guns are being, make, being made at. The U.S. came in 1915 put the parliament at gunpoint and forced them to change that change that law. So we want to reverse quite a few things they did back in that, that treaty. Um, okay. Right now, you can't even find it, you know, uh, in, uh, through the, the government's website, U.S. government's website, because they changed the name from the Haitian-American Treaty to the Haitian-American um, Convention. So they're playing games with the name so that we can't really find the source to put into it. But we're also going to lobby in Capitol Hill. And also... Uh, we need a legitimate uh, government that will be uh, taking care of our country. Because what we have here is a government that is seized their own and, and not helping the country and the people of Haiti. We need also, we don't want intervention in Haiti because it's not in our best interest. But we, if there's any help for our army, yes, that we will support. That army are helped in equipment and in, in better themselves in order to stand. If uh, if uh, America is calling herself friend, there's a human right uh, violation at this moment. People are dying every day, kidnapping and everything. And we, Haitian here, we are showing this solidarity that we are watching what's going on in Uni United States. And we will not stop until we see that our country is, is uh, led by people that care about it. So again, because a lot of the things that's going on in Haiti, mm -hmm. we know we have a common enemy because it's a lot oh, yeah. of the things our people suffer here in America, our people in Africa as well, oh, yeah. with the things that the government does, right? So real quick, Lamentations 417, and I want to get your thoughts on this scripture real quick. Drop it to me. Let's read that. This is the book of Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So the Bible says that the children of Israel, which are the Haitians, the blacks in America, we descend from Israel when we do the research. But we'll, we'll go into that later. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, read that one more time. Verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So the Bible says that we watch for a nation that can't save us. Can, can you can you get your, get your thoughts on that real quick? This can't can save us. So we're talking about America. So, for example, a lot of us, we you know, we came here on mm -hmm. slave ships. Mm -hmm. We've been oppressed right. 
but the same people that oppress us is the same people that we're asking okay. for help. That's what so, I thought you were saying. Right. Here's the thing. America creates the fire and then <laughs> calls the firemen. So they're creating the problems and then acting like they're the solution. Uh -huh. People think because America or France or whomever, I call them a three-headed dragon, Canada, France, and America, that they in Haiti, oh, the white man come to save us. They really come there to exploit Haiti. You said some powerful stuff right there, man. We got a lot of things that's plaguing our community, you know what I'm saying? And one of the things which we're showing today, we got to unify. We got to unify. We got to come right. together as a people mm -hmm. to fight this oppressor. Read Zephaniah 2 and 1. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. You see that? And you spoke on some of that as well as far as us gathering together, unifying. And what we're here to show our people as well is that this, some of the solutions, in fact, all the solutions we'll find in the scriptures once we do the searching. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 